Hey YouTube, how's it going? And welcome to tutorial number 45. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create a password entry field. And I'm going to show you how that differs from uh, just a normal text entry field. And if there's time at the end of the tutorial, we'll probably go through letting the user submit a file. So for now, let's just go over to our forum over here. And as you can see, I'm basically starting out with the normal template that I always start out with, except I've already got my forum in the body. So now we can go ahead and let's create uh, a username or a text field and a password entry field next to each other by actually just creating a username and a password entry field um, like if a user was logging into a website. So uh, we can go ahead and start off our labels and we're going to need one label for the username which is going to be a text entry field so input type equals text and you guys should already have seen my video on how to put a text field on your web page and now we just need to give this an ID of username and we'll probably just give it a name of username and then in our label section over here we'll go ahead and give this an ID of um, user uh, no <laughs> sorry excuse me we just have to give this an attribute of for uh, username cool so there we go we now have our label and our username and you guys should pretty much already know what that looks like so I'm not gonna refresh just yet but all I need to do now because I'm really lazy is I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this and paste it and wherever we see username I'm just gonna change that to password so <laughs> password password uh, word not pass rod and uh, might as well just do this paste okay so that was just changing the ID the name and the password but what we actually have to do is under our input type we need to change this from text to password and other than that they're pretty much exactly the same so Actually, we need to change that as well. Password. Word. Yeah. And uh, just to make this look a little bit better, I might as well include a break tag over there. And now we can run this in Firefox. And as you can see, we now have a username and a password entry field over here. And the username was just a normal text box and you guys know what that looks like if I go ahead and I type whatever I want over here it comes out exactly as expected just with the plain old text but a password is just a little bit different because whatever you type in here comes out as bullet points as you can see so the user that's just bulleted out so that um, no one can see what you typed in there and obviously that's for security reasons so now you guys know how to create uh, a username entry field and a password entry field on your website and these two elements are actually pretty much so similar that they even have the same attributes so if you remember when I spoke to you guys about the max length max length and uh, we'll set that equal to 5 and then the size we can set to 5 as well now you should have already seen me talking about the max length and the size in a previous tutorial when I spoke about text uh, input type equals text and those same attributes work in password so if we go ahead and we refresh this you can see my password entry field got a bit smaller and I can also only type in five characters and no more 
as you can see, it's not typing. So that's pretty much the difference between a username and a password. And uh, the only difference is that the thing is bulleted out. All the content is bulleted out. So let's just go ahead and minimize that. And below this, we can just add in another break tag. And like I said, if there was enough time, we'll go over how to submit a file. So let's go ahead and do that. And this is actually really easy. So let's go ahead and all it is, is just an input element with the type equal to file. And that's it. Go ahead and save this. Come back here, click refresh. And as you can see, we've now got this uh, new element that's shown up here. And this is just how to let, uh, this is just how the user can submit a file. So as soon as they click on this browse button, or even if they click in this field, uh, a little window pops up and then they can just choose a file that they would like to upload onto the web server. Uh, and that's pretty much it. There's not much else you can really do with the file um, element. Uh, you can, if you want to, just change the size. And that's pretty much it. So size equal to 5 and it just gets smaller. That's it. So that's pretty much all I have for you guys in this tutorial. And I would really like to see you guys in the next tutorial. And obviously, don't forget to sign up on my forum. And don't forget to check out my website. And I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Please feel free to leave a comment. And if you found this video helpful, then please go ahead and click like. Because it's really going to help my channel grow. So thank you very much and I'll see you guys next time.